Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, yo, this is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod video for you. And today we are going to be updating and installing menu PC v 1.4.0 all right this one was released back in august of this year um it is updated to work with patch 102060 and it has a couple of minor fixes and it has added walk underwater all right so once you get here what you want to do is select the menu sp.zip you want to select that to download menu pc all right now, as of requirements, you will need Scriptbook V, Scriptbook I will have those links down in the description. Uh, make sure you check that out. It will be a video showing you how to install those. Okay, so you will need those in order to install Menu PC. All right. So once you have those downloaded and you have your Menu PC downloaded. All right, on my left hand side, I have a folder with three downloads. The first one is Menu SP V140. Second one is Scriptbook V. And the third one is ScriptbookV.net. All right. And on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up, all ready to go. Now let's go back over to our downloads. And let's go ahead and start off with ScriptbookV.net. Go ahead and open up ScriptbookV.net folder. Inside that folder, we are going to be taking these files that I've highlighted. All right, you're going to take pretty much all of the files except the two text documents. Okay, so take these files I've highlighted, then you're going to drag and drop these files into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. I already have it, as you can see. Now let's go back to our downloads, press the back button. Now let's go over into our script hook V folder. Open that one up. Inside that folder is going to be another folder that says bin. Open up the bin folder. Inside that bin folder, we are only going to be taking this one right here and then put eight, okay? So we're only taking these two files that I've highlighted, all right? And you're gonna take these two files that I've highlighted, drag and drop them right here into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, all right? Once that has been dropped, go back to your downloads, press the back arrow, press it again. That'll bring you back here to your downloads. Let's go ahead and open up the menu SP folder. Okay, menu SP, open that one up. Inside that folder, we are going to take this file and this folder. Okay, so we're going to take the menu.asi file and we're also going to take the menu stuff folder. Okay, so make sure you have these two highlighted. And we're going to drag and drop those two right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right. Now, once that has been dragged and dropped, we are all done installing our menu as well as our requirements. So we could go ahead and minimize any of the window that we might have open and run the game. All right, once you spawn into the game, what you want to do is press your function key F8. Okay, all the function keys are the top row of your keyboard. Press F8 once. You're going to hear that noise and see menu PC above your mini map. Press F8 twice, once more, and then you will see the menu open up. Okay, so every time that you turn on your game, you're going to have to press F8 twice to open up the menu. All right. Now, if you're pressing F8 twice to open up the menu and the menu's not popping up, it's, it's probably because you did not install the requirements, Scriptbook V or ScriptbookV.net. All right. So it's important that you install those two in order for menu to work. All right. Now, as you can see, I have my menu up right here. Um, we're not going to go through all of the options because I have other videos explaining how to use menu. And um, I will try to leave those links down in the description. But um, you could also change uh, the color and everything in settings. If you're wondering why my theme looks different, it's because I went to themes and I changed it. And you could change it right here as well. All right. 
so you can have it any way that you want it to look all right so after you have uh, closed out the menu just press f8 once to open it again and that's it all right man so uh yep we're gonna end the video right here if the, this helped y'all out to install it or if y'all just enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics me and big bowling ass frank we are out of here till next time y'all Yo, <laughs> all right i forgot i had the turbo on I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.